original tune for you, per request, uh, by Mr. Mitch right here. And it's been a long time since we've played this song. I actually... Well, what? Am I? Are you talking to me? Yeah, PBR doesn't actually, like, count as beer, right? Um, it's been a long time since I've played this song, especially with these guys. Um, I wrote it with a very good friend of mine by the name of Anthony Crane. Um, very dear friend of me. And uh, I played it actually a couple of weeks ago, right down the street at a acoustic competition, and I won it. JS, just saying. But, uh, <laughs> so I played this one a couple of weeks ago, and that's actually the first time I played it in about three or four months. Yeah, I haven't played this song in a long time. So. Johnny actually, fun fact, never even knew this song and played it for weeks and weeks and months. And, did a great job, but this one's called Sometimes Love Ain't Enough. Yeah. Do you remember it? All right. Sometimes a glove That's, ain't enough. <laughs> Sometimes a glove ain't enough. I got it. I got it. So Johnny and, and Jody are going to kick it off, and uh, like I said, I wrote this with my very good friend. <laughs> what song? That's not a good later. start. That's not a good start. Um, I wrote this song with my very good friend Anthony Crane. Um, and it's about a girl that broke my heart. And I don't, you know, this is storytellers right now. I actually told this story at the acoustic competition. And I wrote this, I wrote a song, It Could Be You, about her. And then she broke my heart and then pulled it out of my chest and stepped on it and then stomped on it and then threw it in a garbage can. And I said all this on stage. And I was like, well, she probably doesn't want to hear this, but... That's what she gets for dating a musician, so...
sometimes love ain't enough. Sometimes love ain't enough. Oh,